Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft with me, Jaw the Wolf 038. In the last episode, uh, well, we worked on the village. We made the villagers a little happier over there. Uh, I also did a little bit more over there off screen too, just sprucing things up a bit. And uh, yeah, they're doing really well over there now. Um, so since then, oh yeah, I've also put in a bit of effort over here with the uh, spider spawner. Things are a little bit different now. Uh, there is a uh, mob evader that brings the spiders up and brings them over here. This enables me to spawn quite a bit more of them because they're further away from the, uh, uh, the, 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 the spawner. Anyway, um, and so I sit here for a while and uh, they just stack up and I give them a bit of a crush with this because they all end up going up and, and getting stuck up here on the ceiling after a bit. Um, but anyway, you can hear them clicking. Uh, one would come up here so we can see it. If one would come up here so we can see it. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. They must have been getting themselves stuck. But anyway, eventually they all stack up up there. I give them a crush, and then I hit them a few times, and they're gone. And I get a ton of experience. And because of that, allow me to play two clips for you right now. That's right. Not really happy about the sword, to be honest with you. Uh, it hasn't done much, and it's already starting to wear out already, but this... Oh, baby. <laughs> and um, before we make our fateful trip into the nether, I'm going to go down where I found those diamonds, and we're going to use this Fortune 3 pick on... Or, is it Fortune 3? Yeah, Fortune 3. I wish this was unbreaking, so I'm going to be really careful with this. I'm not going to use it unless I absolutely want to use it for the Fortune thing. I'm not going to use it for anything else. But, uh... Is that slime? No. I guess not. I tell you, I've had some crazy experiences with uh, the slimes. Yeah, it's not here anymore. Uh, but there was one slime. It was bouncing around. And it came after me. So I went up uh, the ladder. And it came up the ladder, too. <laughs> I never knew that was even possible. But it was so funny. Anyway. um, So where was it? The diamonds. I was, like, branch mining around here. The level that I found diamonds. Um... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, good luck finding it. I think it's down this one, maybe. I hope. Come on. Now you won't sprint. No, it's not. Aha, here we go. And let's get the Fortune 3 out. So there's four of them. So far as I know, that's all there is. So let's hope for the best. One. Oh my gosh. Four. <laughs> Two. Oh, there's more. Oh, baby. Um. Alright, let's make sure there's not lava underneath it. 
No, okay. Alright, so here we go. Last one. And how many did we get? Ten. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I am so happy. I am so happy. Ten diamonds. Oh, my gosh. Alright, so that was definitely worth it. Uh, I'll see you back topside. Okay, guys, let's put up our diamonds. We have 14 in reserve. Now, that is what I like to see. So, next time, I will make a diamond sword, and I'll get up a bunch of levels and unchain it, and hopefully get something better than this. Stupid cursor messing up. Anyway, because this is pretty meh. As far as I'm concerned, but anyway, um, right. So let's uh, let's put some stuff away. Wait, now the slimes go in here. Yes, they do. Now I have a good amount of those. That's nice. Um, yeah. Let me just get my stuff together here. I am going to put up my good armor here because. Well, let's see. These aren't that good, so I won't worry about them. Fire protection could come in handy, but I'm saving these. The feather falling boots, the respiration helmet. Uh, I've got a regular iron helmet. guess I will go without shoes. <laughs> yeah, that'll have to do. Um, Alright, so... I think we're ready. I've got lighter blocks. Yeah, we should be good with this. So let's go to the Nether. We got to check out that fortress today. Finally. <laughs> okay. I should have actually enclosed this at some point to make this safer. But whatever. Um, oh yeah, this is your first time seeing the nether in this uh, texture pack. So, the soul sand, it clashes a bit with the netherrack. I might have to adjust that. But the netherrack looks good. Not so hard on the eyes. But the pigmen. Hey, get up here. Yeah, you're you're suitably creepy. That's good. All right. Uh, so let's make our way over to. Uh, I better keep my bow handy because I hear that guest. He's around here somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, let's make our way over here and. We're going to need to make the walkway a bit safer, which is why I brought some of the blocks. Blocks! My voice cracked for some reason. I hear you. Where are you, Mr. Gast? I don't like it when I can't see him. It bothers me. Right, let's get going. It's over here. It's a rather long walk, but... <laughs> Until I can make a nice, safe, enclosed railway track, there's really no better way than just hoofing it. That dumb idea I have had of making another portal. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. I will have to show you guys that though sometime because uh, that that looked pretty interesting. The uh, uh, what you call it? Abandoned mine shaft that I popped out into. Well, still no gas, so it's interesting. Hmm. Of course, this is the um, this portion of the Nether is the old Nether. Whoa! I get stuck on something. Basically, um, I've noticed that the newly generated nether. Where am I going? Exactly. Did I miss it? Oh, 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 oh. Where is he? Huh. 
Oh, there you are. Dang it, I was trying to catch that stupid fireball. Got him once, and I'm a bad shot today. Got him. Okay. Well, that was some excitement. Um, the fortune pick, I think I'll probably come in and get some glowstone with it, but man, I'm going to have to be careful. Alright, okay, this is what it is. I went too far. It's over here. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> er. I totally forgot. The gas threw me off. Oh well, must not have been that important then. This is still a very precarious way to get up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and by the way, this is just an unbreaking three iron pick, which I was rather disappointed with when I got it, but I figured it's like the perfect thing to waste on the nether because I've got an unbreaking three efficiency three iron pickaxe, which I'm going to use for my regular usage in place of that fortune pick I don't want to waste so yeah just trying to make this a bit safer for me can't remember what the heck I was gonna say though <laughs> that's annoying oh well I'm sure I'll watch back the uh, footage and I'll hear what I started to say before the gas attack and I'll be like oh yeah that <laughs> whatever and this is not safe at all Oh man. Mm, well, we'll worry about that later. Alright, where did I uh I think I thought I widened this somewhere. Yeah, here. Shoot, man, this is bad. Wide up here, there we go. After dying in here once, I never want to do it again. At least not the same way. I mean, if I'd been legit attacked by something and, you know, killed, that's, you know, I can understand. But just falling in the lava because I can't properly make a pathway, that's, that's annoying. Okay, so here we are at the portal that goes to that distant abandoned mine shaft. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the fortress. I do like the uh, the nether brick texture. That's nice. Hmm, how best though to go about this? And I could tard pillar up, I guess. I could dig into this. I definitely want to get some nether brick for building projects. Suppose I could dig in over here and go up. Hmm. Should have brought some ladders. Could make some, but eh. I don't really feel like it. It's over here. Hmm. Might be able to. Ah, this this could work. might be high enough. Uh, that's a good place to start anyway. Can't see anything. There we go. Nether is always so dark. Hmm. Uh, I came through the other side, didn't I? Oh wait, here I am. Okay, like that. Let's see, this is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. This is like a main crossway here. 
goes nowhere, apparently. Right, more fortress over there, down here. Hmm. Not over here. Oops. Bit of lag. Well, these look like dead ends, all of them. I mean, I guess they are. Can't dig into them and go anywhere, can we? Well, there's still another brick. Alright. So that's it. Hmm. Well, okay. Another guest. Where are you at? Glowstone here. That's the. This the bit. I can't even talk. That would be an easy place to get it, I think. Hmm. Well. I guess we can look down here. Kind of expecting a blaze spawner at any moment. Oops. No. What's down here? Sorry about that, I had to cut away there. <laughs> uh, let's see what's down here though. Pigman. Hmm. Start your branch now again. Sure, but I think I saw a spawner. That's the case. We're gonna have to run in here and block this up really quickly. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, this is probably let him in too. Hmm. Make sure they can't get in over here. Don't think so. Well, we need to tangle with one. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Things are creepy looking in this texture pack. Whoa, hello. Need to try to get a blaze rod though. For sure. You drop one? Don't think so. Whoops. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These guys are creepy. That noise too, you know? Seen a blaze rod yet? That's one. Get it, 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 run. Okay, so we know <laughs> that we have a blaze spawner here, which means we can make a uh, trap for it. Um, Etho. Uh, I believe was the one that came up with, I think, the best one. Um, can they get in up here? Don't think so. Anyway, he came up with what I believe is the best one. Um, uh, Vidya and Co. were also doing videos on, on it. 
and DocM has one as well. Um, I'm probably not going to on-screen build that for the simple fact that it's it's so time-consuming, and I'm not even sure if I have um, everything I need to make it yet anyway. But when I do make it, uh, it'll be off-screen, and then I will just link you to Ethos videos um, because. I am not the one to be doing a tutorial on that, that's for sure. And this place is huge. It looked small before, but I think it interconnected with another one because, I mean, look at this. This is amazing. This is awesome. I'll be able to get lots of nether brick without actually destroying, you know, an entire fortress because it's so big. Can I get over there? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. This is a dangerous, uh, dangerous game to be playing. Well, you know what I mean. Game within a game. Okay. Right. Now we don't want to forget how to get back, but I know it's generally in that direction, so I don't worry about that too much. Hmm. This is interesting though. A little bit more of a look around here before we head back. Our first nether fortress adventure. Of course, I've been in it before, but first time I'm doing videos of one. Actually, when they first added all this stuff, I couldn't record the nether. It just lagged that badly. But uh, now I'm actually getting as good or better frame rate here than I do in the regular world. So, all right, that's a dead end. Get some of these things too. The nether fence which you can make with um, nether brick but that's costly because you can't get it back if you decide you don't want or need the uh, fence this is actually a good place here because it's kind of out of sight that I can really get myself some uh, nether brick and stuff I uh, hear magma slime. Must be down below me there. All right, what's going on over here? This is a weird sort of hallway. Hmm. So this is all rather broken, isn't it? Meh. Yeah. Balcony of some sort. Your gas too. Oh, stairs. Well, that's cool. Yeah, you can make them. I didn't know they occurred naturally. I thought they were all just full steps. Whoa. Oh well. I like the explosion effect in this texture uh, texture pack too. It's all fiery. Where are you at? Where you at, homie? Hm. Oops, I meant to say that. Oh well. Let's see, another balcony. This is a really cool fortress. Some I've seen aren't aren't nearly uh, seem big. I guess so many different things going on. I was hoping to find some nether work. Sure, there's some around here somewhere, but it can be elusive. I'm hoping not too elusive for me. So I'd love to get now that I have that blazer, I can make a brewing stand. I'd love to do some brewing potions and such. Hmm, it's a very strange place here. Twisty. I'm out of torches. 
I didn't bring any coal. That's just lovely. Well, don't really need torches. I mean, it's not like it stopped anything from spawning, but I try to make things easier for you guys to see. YouTube being the way it is. Oh, that's dangerous. Alright, let's head back this way. Let me get uh, one row of these, I guess. If I go up. Why not? Do some cool stuff with this. Just go up somewhere. Maybe. It was probably supposed to. Hmm. Whoops. Give me that back. I said, give me that back. This. Oh, that opened up. <laughs> well, nothing here, so let's head back, I guess. Got the law of any, yeah. There's nothing there. Oh, did I go down here? I don't think so. Off through the, the fence, that's cool. That's a really cool effect. What's going on? That's just a drop. Okay, now I haven't been down here. Ooh, is that nether wart? Yes, it is. Awesome. All right. So we will uh, we'll grab all of it, and now you can only grow this in the nether, and it'll only grow while you're in the nether. The best thing to do is, especially if you're going to have like a blaze spawner trap. Thing is to just have it growing there because then you can uh, you know spend time near it a lot but at first I'm probably just gonna keep this by my nether portal I'll make like a little stone hut there and uh, yeah oh there's more oh this is great I'll be able to plant some but then take some back and start experimenting with uh, potions like uh, swiftness potions um, what else can I do with what I have I obviously don't have um, a magma cream so I can't really do anything like uh, fire resistance yet I keep wanting to place a torch <laughs> where's this going anyway it's sort of into the nether interesting oh I came from actually that's probably a good way to go back just sort of head across here keep my uh, bow out yeah I'll just uh, charge pillar up here mm, this will do it here too Everything's so calm with that music playing. It's just like, this isn't the nether. This is just a nice reddish place. Um, I think I came from over here, right? No, that's a dead end. I dug in there. No, I didn't come from here at all. Came from in here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. hard to tell which ones I went down and which ones I came up from. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I was standing here, right? This is where I took that pause. And then I went down, so... Uh, where did I... Hmm. Oops. All right. A bit confused. Oh, wait. No, wait. That spot that I was looking at back here that was strangely dug up. That's where I came from. Yeah. No kidding. I was wondering why it looks so weird. All right. Sweet. So we've uh, 
We've got a blaze farm. We've got a really cool fortress here. And uh we'll be able to really work on this stuff. That's that's gonna be awesome. Let's just quickly head back. Cause I would hate to just stop here and then die on the way back off screen. That would just be that wouldn't be good. You guys wanna see if I die, obviously. <laughs> I just hope this episode isn't too long. Seems like I've been going for a little while. Hope you enjoyed Hollow Mountain yesterday in place of Tron. Tron just didn't work out for me this week, but um, it'll be back, so I'm going to finish that. I think I'm near the end anyway. I'm going to actually place an extra gear block there to keep me from jumping over the edge. Actually, let's do two. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm near the end, so it'll be good to, to get that finished. But since I didn't, I thought, well, instead of doing two short Minecraft videos, what in the world, man, two short Minecraft videos this week, you get two long ones, back-to-back -back days. Alright, this is still dangerous. Not as dangerous, but it's still dangerous. Lots of pigmen too, holy cow. Actually, I think I know what I was going to talk about. Remember when I said I forgot? Um, I think I was going to say, wow, so many pigmen. That's not what I was going to say. Um, I think I was going to say the reason I might not see the gas is because this is an older generated nether before the height limit and they might be above the ceiling because the newly generated ones have taller ceilings I think. I'm not sure about that though. But yeah that's what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure before Mr. The Ghast jumped out and tried to kill me. Alright. Definitely want to try to find some more magma cubes. I, did I call them magma slimes? Maybe? Because they drop the uh, magma cream that I need for potions. Because I want fire resistance potions. If I'm going to be working on that uh, blaze spawner, I definitely need fire resistance potions. But again, I'm probably going to just blatantly copy Etho's design and uh, have that all set up in a future episode. Like I say, I'm not sure I even have the supplies for it now. It takes like a ton of pistons and redstone, so yeah. Alright, we made it. Um, let's go ahead put down some soul sand. Look at that, 55 nether wart. That's pretty awesome. Let's uh, put that out. So I'm going to get a few of these set up here. I'll set up much better. Come on. There you go. Much better spot for them um, another time. But for now, we'll just keep them here. I need really need to build a little house around this, but I'll do that off screen, I guess. But yeah, for now, I will say thank you for watching. Let's play Minecraft with me, John the Wolf 38. Uh, next time, I think we are going spelunking. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I'm really looking forward to that, too. Back down the ravine, and, um, yeah. So, I guess that's all. I will see you guys next time for more. Bye! Thank you.